Carlos Ramirez, owner of NBS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey. So Hertz has come out with their own version of the late cutting kit for the 2014 and up Harley Davidson baggers. Street Glide, Road Glide, Road King. So they uh, added a stylish vent design on the side of the kit. Some people like it, some people don't. Um, I like it, I think it looks really cool. And then there's seven or eight lid cutting kits on the market and they're all copies of each other. They're all basically the same as the Rockford Fos Fosgate cutting kit. Rockford Fosgate literally invented the lid cutting kit market. They were the first one to do it. They still have a patent on it. So um, the Hertz design is honestly the only one that's different in any way. So um, some people like the style of the new Hertz kit, some don't. We're still gonna continue to carry the other variations that we carry, but we're happy Hertz came out with theirs too. Whenever we run a Hertz 690 Neo or other large 6x something where it's got a large rubber surround and has a lot of mid-base, we have to run a half inch spacer. Uh, with the Hertz kit, since it's designed to work with their powerful SPL Show 690 Neo 6 line, obviously you don't need a spacer. So it uh, fits right in, no cutting, no grinding, no adapter. And the way they designed the kit, all the other kits use coarse um, wood type screws to sandwich the two plastic housings together. Then when you try and torque down on the screws to really get a good grip on it, you end up stripping them out. So you have to be careful. So when you try and tighten up the gaps on the kit so there's no water or leaks, if you over torque the other ones, you end up stripping it out because it's just thin plastic and some wood type of self-threading screws. Um, the Hertz lid kit uses brass machined inserts and they use machine screws. So you can really, really torque these things down and it helps the corners where the lid kits were infamous for having the corner come up on the sides, that is a lot less of a problem on the Hertz kit because it really draws those corners down. The grill on the Hertz kit's a little bit smaller, so the cutout's a little bit different. The cutout's uh, actually small in the other lid kits. I posted the teaser video last night, but I've already had like 50 people ask me the same question. Can you swap out your previous lid kit your previous non-Hertz lid kit for lid, uh, Hertz lid kit. So Rockford, Precision Power, um, Aquatic, uh, the, the, all the kits that had the Rockford style cut in, the Rockford Fosgate, this is different. It will not fit. I'll show you later on in the video that the Rockford cutout um, or all these other ones are a little bit longer. So it's about a quarter inch longer you can, if you really, really, really have to have this kit and you already have your lids cut, you can cheat it, and I show you in the video, where you end up with an eight, eighth inch on each side, but then you might have to run some silicone or you might get some water in the bag. Um, if you really want this kit, I don't recommend um, putting it in a Rockford cutout that's already been cut out or a sound stream or something like that. I recommend getting new lids. But uh, really good kit, I like it fits really good. Um, I really love the, I never liked the, the wood screws because especially our less experienced techs always strip them out. Um, then you gotta fill the hole with epoxy and then drill it and it's just, it's just a hassle with these machine inserts. But what I can see happening is if you go in there with your, with your Makita or DeWalt drill and you're not paying attention, they're not lined up, you will strip the threads. So, if you're sure that you have it lined up 100% and you put, you start, obviously you want to start them in, you don't want to tighten any corner too much, just start them in. This thing will close nice and tight and seal better than all the other kits, in my opinion. Um, it does cost a little bit more, but um, it's a different design. Some like it, some don't. So uh, they also come, in my opinion, with the best wire harness out of all of them. We it, in my opinion, it comes with the best wire harness out of all the kits. Like some of the other ones are kind of weird, kind of strange. Um, the Rockford kit, I don't like the fact that you have to remove the waterproof grommet to disconnect the saddlebag. With this one, the 
connections outside the saddlebag. I understand why Rockford did it that way. It keeps more water and dirt and debris off the connection, but it's a, it's a hassle to pop it off. And sometimes the grommet doesn't go in right. You get water in the bag. I like the fact that um, the connector's outside of the grommet. So you just got to reach down, unplug it, and take the bag off. Much simpler. It's the way we do it here at the shop anyway. We build our own connectors. So Hertz has already done the work for us. Comes with a backbone harness, just a really nice wire harness. You'll see it in the video. Um, you can get the lid kit with the harness and the speakers, or you can get just the lid kit, or you can get just the lid kit and the harness. So it's available all three ways. It's up to you. We stock it all three ways. And that's it. Check out the video, check out the way it fits. Okay, so we have our standard template three holes where you run the screws through the lid just like that. You want to apply blue tape to the lid before you start cutting. You even want to make sure that this part is taped off because as you run the jigsaw across it, you want to make sure it doesn't leave scrapes along this part. So don't just tape to here, make sure you go over this ledge because as you're running the jigsaw across to cut the side, it tends to ride along here. So we're gonna add one more strip to protect this. But you want to tape off the top of the lid. Then you want to make sure when you apply it that this touches the front. Just like that. Uh, you want to make sure that this doesn't get caught under the handle. Because if it does, it's going to push the template up a little bit. So you want to make sure the handle's all the way down. Front edge is touching the lip. And you can go ahead and screw it down. See how the template is touching the lip completely? Perfect. There's our three screws. Okay, now we have the side lip completely taped off. And we're ready to cut. So you're gonna drill holes in the template. When you drill the hole, make sure you don't hit the bottom edge. This bottom edge is your reference line. You wanna keep your cut in between these two lines. You want your cut along here. If you cut too close to the edge, you're going to make the opening too big and the lid kit's going to fall in and it's not going to seal. You want your cut to be exactly in the middle. You want to cheat more towards this line. And the more you cheat towards the line without hitting it, the less, the less sanding you'll have to do in the next step. So we're using, we're using a step drill bit. We're going to go ahead and hit it. Keep your hole towards the top, stay away from the bottom line. See how we did not hit the bottom line? Notice we're not hitting the bottom line here. We keep our hole towards the top. Now we're going to come back with the jigsaw, we're going to insert the blade there, and we're going to cut in between the two lines, cheating a little towards the outside without hitting it. I like to use my Milwaukee M12, and we use, uh, you want to use a medium blade, because if you use a blade that's too aggressive, it's going to rip chunks out of the lid and crack the paint, and if you use a blade that uh, has a lot of teeth, like mate for metal, as you cut it, the plastic is going to fuse back together. You don't want that either. All right, you notice my cut is not hitting the outside wall, but it's as close to the outside wall as possible. If you leave a big chunk, you're just gonna have to sand to that line, so I wanna minimize the sanding. When you get to that part, do not try and make the curve with the blade. Cut this way and then come back and cut this way. 
do not try and make that curve. stop and I'm gonna come back this way and meet it blue dead battery see how this is coming close to the edge that's why we tape this edge off so we don't have this scraping up the side of the bag so we make sure we tape it completely off that way you can ride against it carefully parts cut this part is important while the template is still on here you want to tape it down to make sure it doesn't move i use this as my sanding template and you can see how you can still see the blue tape i'm going to get ahead and hit it with a grinder until i touch this lip then i know to stop if i remove the template then i don't know where to stop sanding so i'm going to go ahead and tape the template down and then i'm going to get rid of all those blue lines i'm going to sand right to this line i'm going to sand through that nub and i'm going to clean it up so if you keep the template on there, you'll have a nice clean line all the way around. the template is nice and flush you don't see any more blue tape all right see how it's nice and flush so the more time you take in this step, the less you have to fight in the next step when you put it all together. Okay, so we have a bike that has a Rockford style kit on it, and it is different. So, we've already removed that one. When you try to put the Hertz kit in it, turns out the Rockford's a little bit longer. The cut is longer, and it's because the cutting kit is shaped differently. So, it leaves a giant gap in the bottom. You see that? Where, obviously, water's going to get in. You can cheat it and force it and cheat at the front, cheat the back. But then if you notice that gasket is only half covering, which I don't think is a good idea. So if you really wanted to, you could sort of make it fit, but uh, no, the kits are different. You end up with a gap if you try and use the Hertz grill in the Rockford cut-in or the Boss cut-in or the Precision Power cut-in because those are all the same. 
Okay, so when we put the Rockford kit back in, you see it covers in the front and the back. Now we'll switch back to the Hertz. And as soon as you place it in, you see that giant cap. So if you try and slide it back and cheat it, this does not fit that great. So there's the answer for that. You can see the dust outline that the Rockford kit sits back further. We can't get the Hertz kit to go back any further. And then as soon as you nudge it forward a little bit, that cut is exposed. So if you really wanted to, and you like the kit that much, you could sort of make it work, but I don't recommend it. The shape of the kit is a little bit different, so it's more than just the hole.